the first time I realized what being accountable was, I think that I was in a counseling session and I was having a conversation with the counselor and we were talking about some things that was related to um, emotional abandonment, which is what I I have experienced. You know what I'm saying? Which is a very this is a very difficult thing to deal with because um, even though I would appear okay on the outside, I was dealing with something that I didn't realize was affecting me. And this is what a lot of people are dealing with. You know what I'm saying? This is why I had passive aggressive issues and why I couldn't never tell people no at first because I, I I thought I didn't realize something was I was dealing with some shit that I didn't even realize affected me. It's a very difficult situation when you are constantly finding yourself dealing with uh, adver- adversity, adversity in your life, stressful situations, trying situations, situations that always seem like they're bad luck or it always seems like nothing ever works in your favor you got to be careful about that because when you accept those situations as the truth in your reality then you start to convince yourself that that is the truth in your mind start to create that as your reality all right and so this is how it happens we are dealing with things mentally and psychologically and in the back of our minds subconsciously we don't even realize that we're dealing with them and they're affecting the way that we go through our life dealing with other shit. <laughs> Imagine dealing with some shit you think you're dealing with and then you really dealing with some shit you ain't even know you was dealing with. On top of that, you got some more shit piling up. There's a lot of depression, anxiety, um, psychological issues. There's a lot of um, anger that can come out of suppressing all of these different thoughts, these different levels of thinking, these different levels of awareness. You're coming from different angles. You're looking at yourself from within, from different perspectives, and you're looking at everybody else in different perspectives as well. It, to be able to even understand or compute all of these thoughts, you need to be able to understand how they come along, how they're created, how they work against you, or or how they can work for you, how they affect you, and how can you control them? You know what I'm saying? You you want to play chess, and then you want to learn Monopoly. Because, see, chess is about the moves, but you got to have a player that's actually moving the pieces. So that's not even where it stops at. You need to know about how this system works in order to be able to work the system, all right? So that's what I got for you. Stay tuned. All right, let's talk about taking accountability by dealing or figuring out what kind of system is working against you, what kind of system you're working within, and then how to actually set up your own system in order for you to continue to function properly, all right? Especially if you've been having some problems with functioning. What you have to, a lot of times when things are happening to you, you have to realize that they're not only happening to you, they're happening for you. We are multidimensional beings, so there are a lot of levels and layers to us that is more to us than what meets the eye, all right? I'm sure you've heard that saying before, but understand that um, there is a lot of different aspects that go inside of us just being the, the creation that we are, all right? But two of the main important aspects is the physical side of you and the spiritual side of you, all right? So you have to understand that if you completely deny one side of you that is existing within you, you're going to have some issues um, when it comes to how your life is going, you know what I'm saying, how things affect you, how people treat you, how you treat people, how your relationships work out or don't work out, uh, why you're always, you know, why you're having problems with this or having problems with that. Those are things that you can actually have more control over. The main thing is to understand that you're actually doing the controlling. But if you're not controlling with intent, if you're not controlling with specifics, if you're not controlling with a actual like path or navigation, then you're just kind of aimlessly wandering around, all right, with no sense of direction. So it's just like taking a trip, um, using the GPS, but not putting in a destination. 
All right. You, you're really just watching the landscape layout because you haven't told it where to take you or lead you. So it's kind of the same way if you're going through life and you're not in control of your actual uh, situation. So taking accountability would help you to be able to take control because taking accountability allows you to be able to understand the place and the role that you have played in a lot of the things that are happening to you. All right. Because like I said, they're not just happening to you, they're happening for you. These are lessons. These are tests. These are trials and tribulations that you're actually supposed to go through. But the thing is that I think most people are not getting is they get stuck in the fact that, oh, it didn't work out the way I wanted to. Or, oh, that didn't happen the way I thought it was. Okay, well, it doesn't always happen like that. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, this is a test to see how bad do you want it. So you may have to keep going through more obstacles, more doors, and, you know, more failures and things like that to get to the level that you're trying to get to, all right? So understand that the first step in getting there is starting with the inner you and taking accountability for the things that you have to deal with, all right? Hope this helps. Queen, it's not a dream. It's not a dream. I'm living this life. I'm living this life. I'm living this life. I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting that I want. It's now listen up, I am gonna get straight to the point But um, hold up for a second if you don't mind Why I am rolling up my CBD joints I realize when I'm speaking clearly My words, they tend to anoint So, you know, I wanna make sure I'm prepared Before I flow out this point